Okay, hi guys. Um, so real quick before we get into this video, because this is gonna be a lot, because I got a lot to run my mouth about. Um, also, as y'all know, broken nails, mind your business. Top is CD Trends. She's giving me Y2K vibes, okay? Um, hair is Hurella hair. Don't buy it though. Like, trust me, I still need to make the video about it. Yeah, do not, if, especially if, it, no, I wouldn't do Hurella hair and that's going to be a whole video on its own, but this is Hurella hair. Um, and lip gloss is, I don't know, but it's like a lip oil from the hair store and it come in different flavors and stuff so yeah so there we go getting all that out the way and let's get into the video so i really wanted to talk about why my journey with trisha paytas and why it really breaks my heart that i really don't support her anymore so <clears throat> when i was maybe like 14 15 ish maybe um because memory-wise, I really don't remember watching Trisha Paytas like that until I was maybe like 16. Like when I started to try to do YouTube videos again, um, back when I had glasses and looked embarrassing. Don't watch those videos, but I know y'all are going to. Yeah, I really like Trisha Paytas and that's when she lived at her beach house. Um, that's back when, and no shade, but like her hair was really short and she would get these extensions. And if it wasn't blended right, it was just choppy and... You know, this is back in her little beach house or whatever. Um, and I really like Trisha Paytas. I really, especially when she just talked about certain emotional things. Like, I really, really understood her. Like, I really felt for her. Like, like I said, not to put business out there, but it was video. There were videos um, where she talked about how Roger Bart did her and all these, like, other men. It was very interesting just seeing, hearing her experience. You know what I mean? And just her and her personality. Like, that's back when I was like, Barbie, yes, Barbie girl. Like, that was very much her. Like, she had the blonde hair and the big boobs and the, like, the, the big vibrant personality. And I just loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, and honestly, my, her vibe and her personality, especially back then, was the basis of a lot of my looks later down the line now that I think about it um and so you know I started kind of watching her videos and I had a period of time where I was a Trish stan I was so 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 here for Trish she honestly was one of the first people to really kind of kickstart me that I saw that like hey you can be in movies and stuff and you don't have to like you know what I mean like she was never like big famous from like all the things she's been in you know what I mean and she just seemed like an average person to me so it was really cool to see that um because I really did want to do entertainment when I was young um like I said super hardcore Trish phase I was watching all of her videos honestly because I was somebody that was not I was not s x uh sexually active I guess <clears throat> um I'm trying to find a way to phrase it so I don't get in trouble later down the line. But yeah, I was not active in that area. So since she was extremely active in those areas, it was even her job at one point in time. No shade, like I said. It was just so interesting hearing about how like dudes would do her and especially when it came to that and blah, blah, blah. And if we're, okay, being completely transparent, I almost idealized it just like slightly one because I didn't know at the time um but two like it just kind of seemed like at least to me at that age like I was like wow like she's like celebrity guys like want her and she's had all these experiences and blah 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 and like you know like I kind of slightly glorified it just a little bit so yeah um this is where things kind of start dwindling a little bit so <clears throat> like i said i'm still supporting her still supporting her still supporting her she's making music and i'm not gonna count not all of her music but i can so tell her music is very heavily inspired by britney spears um to where it's like it's like 
if a fan of Britney Spears wanted to like emulate Britney, um, and I have opinions about her music, just to insert a few. There are some like she has really sorry butterfly. Um, she has really good beats. I really like her beats. Um, some of her fav some of her best beats um, are very Britney esque. <clears throat> like the song Cinderella, the lyrics are eh, um, but the beat. Like, I, I even like the flow of, like, the music and stuff. Just, it's the lyrics that need to change. Like, she's so, she's really close, but it's always, like, the lyrics or, like, there's always something about it that doesn't quite hit it there with me. But I have music of hers on my playlist. I like it. Um, is it good? I feel like that's extremely debatable, um, if we're being completely honest. I think some of her songs are good, but there are songs where I recognize that they're really not great, but I personally really like them, you know? Um, she's making music and I'm like, yes, I was here for it because I really wanted to make music at that time. Like, I wanted to, I tell people, not all the time, but it does slip out of my mouth often. I would love to be the Black Britney Spears the the black Britney Spears okay with the little pop star outfits and the you know y'all know how like Britney just keeps turning in a circle I love her on Instagram and stuff like me too bitch like I wanted to be a black Britney I wanted to be a black pop star so bad pop music was one of the most popular genres when I was growing up in the early 2000s I loved pop music the pop princess pop star thing was so like it just stuck with me and I've always wanted to do that so seeing Trisha go from kind of like really nothing and then she's on YouTube and the fact that she's like making music I'm like she's making her own dreams come true and I fell in love and then she made that song called Jungle Fever. Um, I'm like I said, transparency. I was like, girl, WTF, you know? Um, I didn't listen to I listened to a little bit of it and I just couldn't. Um, I felt some type of way and then I ended up just kind of ignoring it and just kind of following her again and just, you know, like I just like ignored it or whatever. Um, I don't know why, I don't know, but yeah, that's what I did. Um, and so I'm like, I keep watching her and then I see her like, I'm trying to think in chronological order of the, like the little things I just noticed over the years. Um, I remember the Donald Trump thing and I, that really made me upset. I remember that was the first time I actually unfollowed her. Um, unsubscribed everything I was really I was very upset by that um I don't know like it was just really and I didn't want to unfollow her because like but she's crying and talking about her emotions and you know how she really feels like I relate to her like I really really do um and a lot of stuff she said I truly do relate to her like especially when she used to make videos and there's a video that I don't even think is still up it was called Mean Girls and she was like in her earlier 20s and talking about how she was on set and or she was doing an audition and some girls were being just so catty and mean to her and like her experience with being bullied like I related to Trish so hard so when she was doing these things I was like girl please stop because I'm Okay, so there was a storage issue on my phone and I had to like offload some shit and it kept cutting out, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, so the, I was just like really, really in my feelings and I was like really just kind of, it just kind of felt like I was doing this the whole time because I didn't want her to keep doing stuff. So she moved houses a couple times um, and I was really happy for her cause she do, she do got a lot of stuff. So I was like, girl, yeah, you need some space. But moving houses and she's telling more like stories and especially when she opened up about Roger Bart uh, and how he treated her, how he did her, how, you know, like her just like terrible relationships. Like I just like y'all, like I just really, really, really felt for her. Um, those videos are now deleted. You know, she deleted a lot of stuff lately. And then when she started dating different people, so her and Sean Vanderwilt, um, on the outside, I could, I totally saw it just because, like, they just, like, had that, like, vibe, you know? And then, like, I don't know what happened. Like, I think he gay or something. Um, 
but like that didn't work out or whatever and then just the way she handled that i was like girl you know and i'm like okay 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 she starts dating uh jason nash i genuinely did like them together i'm not even gonna cap because I felt like he was right up her alley. He was also a creator. He also he was a man that had money. So he was also somebody that had money like she did. She, he was in her age demographic that she kind of likes for her men. Is See, this is how you know that I fucked with Trisha Paytas. Like, sorry. I mess with Trisha so hard because I know all these things. I watch all her videos. Not every single one, but I watch. I know a lot about her. I know a lot about her because of what she shared on YouTube. Um, but yeah, Jason just seemed very like upper alley. That didn't work. And then when she started talking about like the, the doing the mental illness things and the personalities and the like, it really did seem like she was just starting to do stuff to get attention. And it became a little less authentic, even though I feel like some of her. Oh, and I heard that she was just kind of like doing a lot of prescription medication or something. Um. She just seemed like very depressed, very low. Um, I've, there are some videos of her, like there's a video of hers where I feel like she she's either drunk or high off weed or high off pills. Um, I forgot what the name of that video was called, but she was like on the floor and like talking about how people steal from her and she doesn't want material things and she's over material things and she just wants to be happy and blah, 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 blah. Like I just was kind of feeling for her but at the same time i'm like girl like i'm trying to be here and support you somebody that you have no clue she don't even know i exist y'all no clue i exist after this video she might hey girl like oh like it was just kind of hanging on by a thread and then what kind of like did it for me was when she started talking about the disorders and the multiple personality things and then like the transgender things i'm like like it just like stressed me out because i'm like girl you don't even really know what you are anymore um i just me personally i don't believe that she is trans like her her explaining how she feels about like when she like feels more masculine and stuff a lot of women also experience that so i feel like it's not her one, her being actually being transgender, it's more so her just embracing like the masculine qualities or masculine things that she does like and enjoy. And there's nothing wrong with like cosplaying, like people cosplay all the time or cross dress or whatever. Um, and then the multiple personalities really upset me. I'm a psych major. Um, mental health is a passion of mine. Um, and as somebody with bipolar disorder. I there are like ants in here why is there a zoo in this car um yeah like I just I was just starting to get a little I was getting offended I was getting offended and you think I would have been offended with the jungle fever and the Donald Trump like now I was like getting really offended I kept giving our pass after pass after pass now I'm getting upset um and I honestly don't oh the vlog squad whatever that was and then the h3h3 podcast like bs um before all of that like kind of started i unsubscribed for her i still i don't know if i still follow her on instagram but everything else i don't follow her on um i just can't like don't get me wrong i still have love for her but i just can't and then she's like married to moses hackman now and don't get me wrong now I feel like she is finally in her peace. She's finally getting, and it makes me happy. Like there was a, I made a video and then I deleted it cause I got embarrassed, but I was crying because I was so happy for her that she finally found, got what she wanted. Like she didn't even think she'd ever have kids and she has a baby. Like y'all this, like, I don't support a lot of what she does, but I genuinely truly am happy for her. Trishy, if you're watching this, I'm genuinely happy for you. I really, really, really am because you have been wanting this for so long. Somebody that really loves you, a family, you know, like y'all have a nice house. Girl, you're rich. I'm talking to her now. You're rich. You have money. Everything you wanted in your early 20s back when I used to watch you, you have now. I'm so happy for her. But I don't think I can subscribe back to her just because I don't think her content really is for me anymore. I still have love for her. 
but like I don't I'm not like a Trish stan anymore but I still I have love for her if that makes sense I'm not a stan have love for her but I've been wanting to talk about that for a while like my journey with Trisha Paytas and I have a video about Tana Mojo with that too but um yeah oh wow I feel like I just took like in a little emotional journey hmm um but yeah so that is that video and also make sure you guys check out my other videos I the last one I uploaded it's getting views out of nowhere and I don't know what the hell going on but go watch that video too make sure you guys subscribe to my channel uh follow my social medias leave a comment if y'all watch her know about her anything let's discuss let's have a conversation because y'all don't ever be saying nothing um and yeah so yeah I will see you guys later bye guys